one of the purchases that you have to be careful of is buying a car, whether it be second hand or brand new. There are certain things you have to look out for. Have you been caught out before? I know I have many, many years ago. In fact, shamefully, fairly recently as well. When you talk about high-end cars like BMWs, Audis, Mercedes, Lexus, all that sort of thing, you're talking big money if it can go wrong. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing alright. I am not too bad, not too bad. I uh, hope you're okay. Let me know in the comments below and uh, you know that you're well and that you're going to have a good day. Well, there's somebody fancied themselves a right proper half a daily. Uh, what they were doing, they were buying a load of vehicles, clocking them, and uh, if you're not sure what that means, the process of clocking them is roll the mileage back to something a little bit more suitable and then selling them on to uh, Joe Public. Now, this complete scam artist... Uh, has, you know, made about 350,000 quid doing this over the course of time, ripping people off. There are certain things that you have to look for when you are buying a car in the used car market or other. Now, this particular individual was faking MOT documents, getting rid of service histories so you couldn't see the actual proper verified history of the motor vehicles, and then clocking them. There's a couple of examples here and you can read more in the description below, but uh, in 2018, so this is going back a while, uh, officers discovered an Audi A4 at the defendant's property that was being advertised on Auto Trader for 13,950 quid with a mileage of 28,450 miles. On the average of about 10,000 a year, that's, uh, that comes in under. Officers discovered that it had been sold two months earlier by British car auctions for £8,000 with a mileage of 108,401. So nearly 100,000 miles has disappeared somewhere. An investigation was launched after a resident in upmarket Kensington and Chelsea bought a BMW in May 2017 with a supposed mileage of 35,000. But when the owner tried to sell the car, he found recordings of a previous mileage of 93,000. An evaluation he had received for his vehicle dropped from 13,000 to 8,000. Now, this is where people are not exercising due diligence, I guess. That's what this smells of. A lot of uh, vehicle records now are electronic. They are online. You can check them. I mean, I'll tell you a story. I, I bought a car a couple of years ago. I can't uh, tell you too much because it's a subject of legal action, subjudice and all that sort of thing. And I went and had a look at this car, and I know what to look for. The state of the oil, the tyres, the bodywork, the interior, and all the rest. And apart from a couple of things, I was uh, satisfied with what I saw, what was on paper, and what I checked online. Well, it appears within about 48 hours, we discovered serious, serious flaws with this vehicle and this individual, hence the legal action going forward. If things aren't properly checked, it can cause you a world of pain. I've seen vehicles, high-end vehicles for sale in London and, you know, South London and that sort of thing. And you look at them and not, you think, oh, wow, not bad motor. And then you drill down and you think, hang on a minute, there's something shifty going on here. These people need the book thrown at them because they're playing with people's lives, playing with people's finances. And at 350,000 quid, he's got away with it for far too long. Anyway, have a read in the comments, see what you think, and let me know. I'm off. I'll see you with one more soon.